What's going on, everyone? I am Caleb, a.k.a. Clonclocks9999, and welcome to something very, very, very cool. 3D Pinball. I guess. Welcome to 3D Pinball Space Cadet for Windows. Now this is now if you're unfamiliar with what this is, this was actually a 3D pinball game. Doesn't really look 3D, but I think it is. Uh, uh, a 3D pinball game made by Microsoft for Windows for earlier versions of Windows. The only ones I've seen on it were Windows 2000 and Windows XP, but I think there were some other ones. And surprisingly, it's actually still compatible with um, um earlier version with uh the newer versions uh which are like Windows 8.1 which is what I'm playing with um so yeah so just let me just explain the controls um uh if you if you press F2 that will start a new game and if you press F3 that will pause the game and if you press F4 you can toggle between window mode and full screen mode uh, and if you go up here, we, uh, game, we got new game, launch ball, and we can pause the res or resume the game. High scores, I don't know what demo is. Oh, I think this is like a tutorial on the game, so yeah. Go to options, we have full screen, you can have up to four players. We get the sounds and music, the player, and help, uh, we have help targets and about pinball. Now, for player controls, you can actually, um, uh, change what the controls are like what like what things um uh like a control what I guess anyway let's just get on with the game now to clarify the gameplay controls uh Z and Z and right sl and left slash control the flippers um X period and up will will toggle toggle the flippers I mean uh toggle the tilt I don't know what those do though and space activates the plunger which we can use to launch the ball so yeah let's get let's get well that was brilliant and but sometimes we'll get a redeploy which is like yeah so yeah, let's get it with some taste of 3D pinball action. Cause uh, I actually had um, a uh, an old uh, Windows XP computer. Um, I actually um, used to you, I used to um, play uh, this exact same game on it, and it was really fun. What the heck? I think this is a glitch. Okay, what this thing is doing right now, it's going into the worm hole, the wormhole, which, uh, is, uh, oh, jeez. Uh, well, shoot out the ball lightning fast, and there are three wormholes in here. Um... And when it goes into the wormhole, it will usually, um, uh, you have to activate the wormhole first, but I'm not sure how you activate it, but, yeah, it'll show you have re one of the three, um, wormholes. Um, I'm just gonna find a good place to pause the game. So, the wormholes are here. Here and here. So, yeah. And almost anything you touch will give you points. Oh boy. Oh. What? Yeah, you saw it shot to a random uh, wormhole. Just cool. And so yeah, it's a little hard to explain everything in this game, so I probably won't exactly 
explain every little thing, but it will, will definitely explain a lot. And this thing right here basically shoots the ball. Though it can only be used once, because if you look closely, there's like a little bit of a line thing there. And that basically prevents... Oh boy, here we go again. That basically prevents the ball from going into there again. So it can only be used once per ball. Hyperspace bonus. What the heck? Okay, I think this is the first time I ever passed a million points on the first ball. Because I, I passed a million points many times before, but I think this is the first time I ever did it on the first ball. Because I am doing amazing on the first ball. Ah, probably shouldn't say that, I want to jinx myself. So yeah, almost anything you touch will give you give you points. Oh jeez, that was close. Oh, we got another one. Oh, oh, we got a replay ball. Oh my god, I passed 2 million points. This is something I've been trying to do for a while to pat, to to get 2,000 points in one game. And I surprisingly did really successful. No, not the lag, not the lag. Oh, that was interesting. Oh, okay, maybe it's not once per ball. Maybe if you get a replay ball, you can do it again if you if you want, or if you can even get into that one place. Okay, uh, the engine got upgraded. So, you see this... You see these things right here? If you get all three of these things, it will upgrade th these things. And same goes for these things with these things. So, yeah. This is the, at least the most successful game by Microsoft so far, because I know a lot of people, I know a lot of people, my dad used, I know my, a lot of people, including my father, uh, used to play this game when they were like bored at work. Well, dad, well, when my dad was working, whoa, with the weapons, weapons got upgraded, and oh my god, three million, three million! And this is only the first ball? What? I have never done this good before, guys. I don't know... I guess this... 
I guess maybe the opposite of the Let's Play curse has happened to me, which is maybe the let maybe the Let's Play blessing or something. Aw. Okay, and uh, sometimes when you crash, which is like the ball going down here, uh, if it don't if you don't get a redeploy or a replay ball, you'll um get a bonus number of points. And unfortunately, the engine and the weapons will go back to normal, but it's okay. Oh, pfft. at least that doesn't count as a lost ball. Just. Aw, well, crash bonus two, uh, two, 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 twenty-five thousand, huh? Twenty-five thousand. I cannot speak today. This would be really cool if, like, a space mission was, like, completely based around it, a pinball game. Oh, no! Game over. High score. Okay, look at this. So, these are where high scores when I was just playing this all by myself. 1,166,500. 1, 1, 176 1,176,000. Oh, what the heck? One million seven hundred seventy-six thousand two hundred fifty. One million nine thousand nine. What? What? One million nine hundred twenty thousand two hundred fifty. This is a really high score right here. Just shoot up from one million to three million. Three. Our high score is three million five hundred sixty-six thousand two hundred fifty. That is the let's play blessing right there. Okay, let's go ahead and name this. Clone Clocks 9999. But no, let's hit escape, which doesn't close the game, but rather minimizes it. But I don't care. Woo! Let me know in the comments if you want me to play this game again, guys, because I definitely will. Because that's And that's going to be it for this episode. If you liked it, then say you liked it. And as always, remember to smile. You are the face of Clone Clocks 9999 Gaming.